Chris, although we saw his attacks uh, before uh, the concert venue attack, and uh, the authorities talking about eight attackers in all, all accounted for, but significantly they're, t they're saying these were suicide attacks. Which is the most frightening element of all of this, of course, that, that plus the random nature of the, of the target. Uh, yes, I mean, eight people, uh, it seems, uh, but they haven't discounted um, there being others. Um, what they're doing now is meticulously trying to work out the timing of the Paris attacks, uh, the timings of the Paris attacks. Uh, it seems that there were 40 minutes um, that separated the first of the, the Paris cafe attacks, if you like, from the last, which was at the Bataclan, over an area which would have allowed a single team to have marauded around from one venue to another, finishing at the background of the carnage there. But they can't rule out that there were maybe two groups who did that, then converged at the Bataclan, or that there was maybe uh, another group which got away. They, they cannot rule that out. Um, and uh, we will uh, have to wait until they've worked out in precisely the movements of, of, of the gunmen before we can be sure that there aren't still some on the loose. Even the moment, thank you. Uh, as Steve was saying there, uh, Still some focus on the actual timeline of what happened when, of course, one of the attacks all to explosions were 